sinks his teeth into Daniel's whole slinger as he tries to feed him. Friends Jay Christensen and Brian McIntyre reel in horror. That's very shocking because he's never been bitten by a snake before. After Daniel was bit, we were all wondering, is he okay? on a boa on one this size are probably about a quarter of an inch long. Snake expert Jim Brockett says at six months old, Lucifer may be small, but his teeth can do a lot of damage. They all are recurved toward the back of their mouth, so when they bite, they hang on. If you try and rip away, you'll get severely cut by them. At nearly two feet long, Lucifer is too small to crush Daniel, but his teeth can slice through vital arteries and veins. You can get very bad lacerations. You can get certainly infections. Brian has the most experience handling snakes of the three college buddies. Now he's kicking himself for allowing Daniel to use the microwave to thaw the frozen rat. I just didn't think that was a good idea. You know, you should have just let it thaw. Because that gets the, the smell everywhere. Everywhere, including Daniel's hands. The first thing is don't microwave frozen rats. Don't get your hands in it. And then try and feed a snake with your hands. That seems pretty obvious to me. It's disgusting. Jim says it's an open invitation to be bitten by a snake. When you use the word snake and think in one sentence, it's kind of an oxymoron because they, they don't really think like you and I do. Instead, a boa lives in the primitive world of instinct. By flicking its tongue, it first sniffs out its prey. That's basically how he tells what's going on in the world. Then with a row of heat-sensing pits, the boa detects its body warmth. On the lips is where their sensors are. Watch closely as Daniel tries to interest Lucifer in the rat. <laughs> Lucifer doesn't strike the rat right away, possibly because it's not fully thought out yet. In his efforts to get him to feed, Daniel inadvertently brings his free hand toward Lucifer. It doesn't matter that his hand is behind the snake. It's giving off the same signals a rat would. The heat and scent are enough to satisfy Lucifer that it's prey. So he strikes. The snake is just trying to eat his rat, and he mistook the guy's hand for a rat for good reason. It was moving and it smelled like a rat. If, you know, you come in between the snake and its food, you're its next lunch. Jay and Brian hold their breath. Thankfully, Lucifer lets go and Daniel is okay. He did release pretty quickly. He just realized that it was not food. I decided that I wanted to feed them holding the snake in my hand, in one hand, and feeding in the other hand. So a very dumb idea. Experienced handlers use tongs or tweezers. Getting bitten by a snake is like a bunch of little needles poking you all at once, and usually you're at fault. Usually you're doing something that you probably shouldn't have been doing. He cleans the wound thoroughly to avoid an infection. I had kind of a row of little teeth marks. This is Lucifer now. He's more than doubled in length to nearly five feet and is still growing. Now a software developer, Daniel's running with Lucifer hasn't changed his view of Boas one bit. Um, I think they're a really docile, really wonderful creature. And he learns two big lessons. One, how quickly snakes can go from mild to wild. And two, don't thaw frozen rats in the microwave. Shocking and outrageous videos. Visit our website at animalplanet.com forward slash untamed and uncut.